Good morning, and welcome to the first, and we all hope the last, CRA virtual conference. These last months have clearly been very trying for all of us, for our colleagues, our students, our countries, and the entire world. I want to particularly thank the CRA conference at Snowbird 2020 committee for all the work that they did to develop a dynamite program, a program which will inform the CRA conference at Snowbird 2021 program. Yes, we will break our pattern and we have reserved space at Snowbird August 3 through 5, 2021. And we will then revert to our even numbered year schedule. I think we'll all be really ready for an in-person get-together in 2021. Incidentally, the very first conference at Snowbird, or what was to become the conference at Snowbird, took place in 1974, 46 years ago, and they have been every even-numbered year since. I'd like to highlight the work of the CRA staff dealing, like all of you, with issues and circumstances that try us to the extreme. You can be very proud of them. When we realized that meeting in person this year was simply not going to happen, Ron and James stepped up to create a conference agenda that focused on information of immediate value and that is what you will experience over the next two days. Because the conference at Snowbird also serves as the CRA member business meeting, there are some sessions devoted to topics that need your discussion as well. Please bear in mind that we are all in this together. Be understanding of any technical or programmatic issues while also participating fully in order to gain maximum value. Now, I get to sit back, relax, participate, and turn things over to Ron and James. Thanks, Andy, and good morning, everyone. We're excited to have you with us for this two-day conference. Being online is not quite the same as being in Snowbird, Utah. However, we're excited to make the best under the circumstances. Certainly, running into an angry moose or experiencing altitude sickness are risks that you won't be experiencing in these two days. Jamie Teven and Penny Rangans were masterfully leading the effort for the biennial CRA Snowbird meeting when everything changed. In response to the pandemic and more recent events, the CRA board decided to pivot to an online meeting with the theme of challenges in unsettling times. We have five panel sessions on that broad theme, including teaching, research and collaboration, mentoring, challenges for chairs, and equity and systemic racism. In addition, we have two plenary talks on other topics, one by Margaret Martinozzi at NSF Size on the computing and information science landscape looking forward, and one by Peter Harsha at CRA on changing policy landscape for computing research. We have two sessions on CRA strategic planning, which is a positive forward-looking process that will help CRA formulate a vision to serve a community in the years ahead. And finally, we have a number of short lightning talks on relevant timely topics, and we hope that you'll watch those as well. Let me turn things over to James. Thank you, Ron. There are a lot of people who have made this event possible. Many contributed to the program development for the meeting, including Christine Alvarado, Nancy Amato, Laurie Craner, Ann Drobnes, Penny Reingens, Eric Russell, Devesh Srivastava, Jamie Teven, Ellen Zagura, and of course, the speakers and panelists that you'll hear from over the next two days. Andy Burnett and the entire staff at CRA have worked incredibly hard and their contributions are deeply appreciated. Sandra Corbett was involved in virtually every aspect of the logistics, and Sabrina Jacob and Char Steed provided important support as well. Betsy Bizeau will be sending you the evaluation survey, so watch for that. David Goldstein and his team at Smash Productions are providing the online delivery of this meeting, and Kapil Patnik of Caretaker supported those efforts as well. We're excited to have you here, and we look forward to spending the next two days with you. I'd now like to hand you off to Ellen. Thanks, James, and hi, everyone. I'm Ellen Zagura, Chair of the Board of the Computing Research Association and Faculty in Computer Science at Georgia Tech. I'd like to add my thanks to everyone from CRA and our community who has made this event possible. 
Challenging times test all of us, and I'm proud of the ways that CRA has adapted and responded. From pivoting the Snowbird content and format to the release of a statement about racism and computing, coupled with a session on that topic in the program, to the rapid creation of a 2020 version of the Computing Innovation Fellows Program, which will fund up to 59 postdoctoral fellows in this coming year. We're a strong organization and we have a caring, creative and creative and committed community. With that, it's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, the new director of the National Science Foundation, who helpfully goes by the name Ponch. Like many computing leaders before him, Ponch has a history with CRA, serving on the program committee of Snowbird uh, in 2008. More recently, he's been the head of all things research and innovation at Arizona State University, an institution known for its out-of-the-box approach to higher ed. Like all of us, I am delighted to have the first NSF director coming from computing, and I know you will join me in welcoming him to Snowbird. Ponch, thank you. We look forward to your remarks today and to your tenure at NSF. <laughs> 